Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just Your Time playing Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First in Souls Rebuild. Last episode we did um, some things. I think I just beat the uh, Ancient Dragon, I think that's the last thing that I did. And now we are technically supposed to go and do the, uh, the Giant Memories, but before we do that, I first want to go and do some other things. Also, off camera, of course, I grinded for um, a couple of new weapons. Well, wait, what am I saying? A couple of new weapons. Literally, no, actually, well, a couple, yeah, it's two weapons. <laughs> I'll show them off in a moment. Uh, aside from that, I also grinded, as you can see, because I'm still in the Bellkeeper's Covenant. I also grinded basically all the Bellkeeper stuff. So, uh, now I'm just supposed to go to the Bellkeeper dude and get my spell. <laughs> Once I get to it. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that after something else also. <laughs> or once I... I don't know. Maybe after this. The first thing we're gonna go and do, because we need to do the Royal Sorcerer Navlan quest. And for that, you're normally supposed to kill certain NPCs and get certain pieces of equipment for them, from them. Like equipment or just items in general. Now... I can basically complete all of these things without having to kill anybody, so I'm gonna go and try to do that. One of the things I need to do is actually get all of the bonfires. And I don't have all of the bonfires quite yet. There's only one, like, including... I'm sorry. Excluding the one that I just got. There's only one more bonfire that I'm supposed to get. Or that I didn't get, because I didn't have... A fragrant branch of yore. The only bonfires I count are the bonfires of the base game. That NPC does not require... Um, all the bonfires in the DLC to be found. The NPC that I'm talking about is Cartographer Kale. I basically need to finish this quest, and then I get myself the Kale's Helm. I also need to go and buy the Miniature Ladder, and then I need to go and get the Sunset Staff from uh, Falcon the Outcast. Those are all the things that I need to complete that quest. And then, you know, there's also the Bellkeeper stuff. The way that I... You know what, I think I'm going to explain the way that I did the Bellkeeper grinding once I go back to the Bellkeeper. Because it requires a little bit of explaining. <laughs> Also, off camera, I um, infused my my staff over here, my staff of wisdom with magic, which basically increased its damage. <laughs> also, let me go and show this off. I got the blue flame, which is a, uh, a sword with which, with which you can do physical and uh, magic damage. Let me go and equip it and see what scaling I get. So the scaling is decent, I suppose. How much damage does it do? That's 379, but it's a mix of magic and physical so it's not gonna do all that like that amount of damage that it actually shows aside from that you can also use it to cast spells let me go and show this off a great solar so which strong attack you can cast spells but i personally no i don't like it that much i like the way it looks but that's it we also got or at least i also grinded for the drake keeper sword and i noticed something else off camera so the item where is it um these things over here, the magic stones, imbues weapon with magic, which ma which basically makes it so that you, your weapon still does full physical damage, but it then has scaling with your intelligence. Now apparently, the scaling that I get with my intelligence is the same, or actually less, than the scaling that I get with my strength and dexterity for these weapons. So, doing that is basically pointless. <laughs> and thus we have just a basic Drake Keeper Sword, which does a pretty sizable, like, uh, 300 physical damage. So yeah. That is all the weapon grinding that I did off camera. Hello. Can I please knock onto you and not fall into the water? Because I remember falling into the water around here also. Let's just go let's just go and follow the rocks and don't fall into the water. Water and water and water, water and water and water, water and water. I love that. I've never played Final Fantasy VIII, but it's like it's a it's a song. It's basically the battle music from Final Fantasy VIII, but then just water. <laughs> but the only instrument is the word water. It's amazing. Right. Um, so we now have all of these, hopefully. So let's go and buy the miniature ladder. And do some other stuffs. Right. Oh, Majula. So nice and peaceful. Except if you start murdering everybody. Uh, let me go and buy your miniature ladder. Cheers. Cheers for that! Ha ha! 
I really hope that I talked to Kale enough times there. Okay, he's here. Phew. Oh, hello. E. Um. Hmm. Let me go and do some research. Because I kind of want to. Like, I kind of need to <laughs> remember what I need to do for this guy. Kale's set. Talk to Kale in the abandoned house after lighting all regular bonfires. Uh, <laughs> well, I think I lit all regular bonfires. Did I miss one? Let me go and take a look at my, uh, it could also just be that it really does also require the DLC ones. And if that is the case, well, I'm sorry, Kale, but you're gonna die. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You're just gonna die. Because I'm not in the mood for dealing with that. So, I have things of Twixt. Force the Fallen Giants. I have all of the bonfires in. I'm pretty dang sure. Yep. Same for Hate Star of Flame. Got the Blue Cathedral. Got this place. Got all the ones in here. Sinner's Rise. Belfry Luna. Huntsman's Cops. Got all of those. Harvest Valley. I think I have all of those. Same for Earthen Peak. Same for the Iron Ke uh, uh, Keep. Belfry Soul. Is correct. Shaded Woods is also correct, I think. Yep. Uh, Doors of Ferris. Price and Cove Seldora. Yep. Grave of Saints. The Gutter. There's only two bonfires in the Gutter, so. A Gulch. Um, this place is also fully cleared. Shroud of a Mana. This place is cleared. All this keep also. The Dragonary. And the Dragon Shrine. I think I have everything. Well, you know what? I'm not in the mood for this kind of stuff, so I'm just gonna go and kill him. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me anyway, so who cares? So I will just kill him, yes. It is basically what the NPC asks of you. <laughs> he basically wants you to kill everybody, but I was gonna try to not do it, but uh, yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. Your map indeed. Thank you for your helm, buddy. Okay, so I got to mention the ladder. Now I just need to go and get the uh, sunset staff. I should have the stats to get the entire sunset armor from uh, from Falcon the Outcast. I'm pretty dang sure. However, I could be wrong. Am I wrong? Right. Let us go over to this place. Um, and that refuge, I think, is the one I need to go to. Oh, I'm happy that I'm done with grinding uh, the stuff that I needed to grind. Even though it wasn't that bad, it didn't take me that long, but it wasn't, it wasn't particularly fun. Really? What do you want from me? He might want me to like buy these things. No <laughs> Everything is fine, buddy. I'm not doing anything. Are you kidding me? This guy like immune on this freaking chair. What are you doing? I'm killing you. Why is this why is this chair so insane? <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Since that's DF. There's also a butterfly up here. Never notice it. Ah crap. Oh well, I'll do it like this. <laughs> Wee! Speed! Okay, so let us go over to all this gate. 
I right, need to go and kill myself. Okay, that should be. Hmm. What is an easy way to get myself murdered? <laughs> I think I have an idea. There we go. Kill me. Do it. Petrify me. Do it. <laughs> you died. Hey, it looks really cool though, with my sword and my and my catalyst. I've turned out to be a cool statue. And isn't that what is that isn't that what matters in life? <laughs> there we go. Lost a lot of my HP. But I don't care. I've got a metric crap load of humanities left. Or human effigies. I wonder why I keep calling them humanities. I think humanity is just easier to say than uh, human effigy. Oh to humanity. Or maybe that's the reason why. <laughs> because of memes. Memes. Oh yeah, right. Your cage has been broken, so now you're free to run wild. And petrify people at your heart's content. Right. Hello, my good sir. I've never done this quest before, by the way, so I'm going to listen to him. This, this contains my power. Long ago, this naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells. The fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world. But instead, he created me. Mostly by chance, but he did a fine job. Say. What he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, I'd find my mark and hunt him down. But my vessel did not approve, and so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. Now I don't have anything against humans, but how is it? You go about defining good and evil. I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. I couldn't give a fig either way, so... What's your choice? Yes, I see how very kind of you. I want you to kill a merchant named Gilligan. A greedy, foul man. He won't be missed, I assure you. Yes, bring me a ladder miniature as proof. Is the only person who'd have such an odd knickknack. discuss our next mark. I want you to kill one more. Your target will be Cain, the man who's drafting that map. While I was trapped in here, it touched me, that maniac. Like I was some rare specimen. He wore a strange helm. Bring it back. This will slake my thirst. <laughs> that laugh. This is my thanks. Take it. Touch it. <laughs> now let's discuss our next mark. I want you to kill. 
kill one more. Your target is Felkin the Hexa. As proof, bring me that peculiar scepter of his. What do you say? Yes, very good. But he will be formidable. Be cautious. Um, his chair was more formidable. And this is why I needed to do this, to get Unleashed Magic. What do you require? You've been good to me. That's really cool. Tell me what you need. I killed myself, and now I don't have any souls. <laughs> These are for you. I get the Chaos Armor. <laughs> well. As you wish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go and uh, get some pocket souls going. Pocket souls. What do you? You've been good. Let's see. So, as you can see, we can buy the black witch armor, a uh, great magic weapon. Do I have great magic weapon? Well. Did I ever get great magic? Weapon? <laughs> I know that it's somewhere, but I don't think. Yeah, no, I didn't get it. What well, been... I'm gonna buy it over here then. I think you can get it somewhere, but I just missed it or something. Meh. I don't care. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have the, uh, the Astrologist armor. And the Black Witch armor. Um. Boasts excellent magic defense. Yeah, it's pretty dang crazy. I want to get this hat. And then I kind of want to get a couple of these things. Find what you wanted. Potion seller. <laughs> well, no. It's more like traveler. I require some of your finest potions. Well, it's actually the potion. Whatever. I keep on mixing it up. I don't need any of these. I don't need any of these. No, 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 no. There we go. I do want to buy... I really do want to buy the Black Witch armor, though. Because it is a pretty cool armor. I was thinking about wearing that particular armor set when I was going to do the... Uh, like, when I'm going to be doing the... What's it called? The... Uh, the Hex playthrough. Because it feels very fitting for that one. Let's, let's go and buy the gloves and the pansu. You could get them for, for, for free! If you uh, do some pretty insane stuff. <laughs> well, if you light up the entire gutter, you can get a set for free. And you will also get a hat that will give you uh, curse immunity. Which, in my opinion, I gotta say, it's it's worth it. <laughs> and it's also not too difficult to do. In my opinion. Are you kidding me or attacking me? You doubted! 
I haven't done anything wrong to you. What do you think you're doing? Attacking a noble figure as myself? <laughs> Goodbye. Right. And now I have 40 cases. <laughs> God dang it. Okay. Let me go and use... A human effigy. A human effigy. Okay. Or the moon hat. <laughs> Which looks kind of ridiculous. Now we have the Black Witch's hat, which is a fan favorite. And I do think I want to wear this one. Then we have the Black Witch rope, as you can see has... A hell of a lot more defense than what I'm wearing, but... I'm not gonna be wearing that. Then we have this stuff over here, the Black Witch trousers, which is basically nothing. Astrologist? Nah, I don't like those two. Okay. Then we have the, uh, the Mad Warrior Gauntlets, which I got off camera. And also the Chaos Armor, right? Chaos Control! It doesn't look bad, though. To be honest. It looks pretty dang good. Hmm. Does it do anything special? Nope. <laughs> no, it does not. Um, does the astrologist stuff do anything special? No. It looks... interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of this one. However, this one over here... I do like this combination that I've got going for me. Now what if I did something like this? <laughs> that would look ridiculous. Nice. The thing is, I'm so used to seeing her like this. That looks very weird when she's actually fully clothed. <laughs> it's quite weird. I do think I'm gonna, like... I do think I'm gonna wear this. Because I feel like this fits so well. Now then, we got Unleash Magic. Why do I have another achievement suddenly? Wait. Why's the achievement of an extra spell? <laughs> well, I never. Let's see. Just excellent magic defense, right? Pretty other pieces? Yep. Wow. Well, I'm not complaining about that. So, we have... Or we got... Unleash magic. Boost magic within the body beyond even your own limits, but at great cost to HP. The terrible deeds carried out in Aldia led to the unintentional birth of uh, several shadowy things, all of them eerily mal malformed. Let me go and cast this and see if I die. <laughs> Can't just see what it does. Let me go take a look at how much damage I do right now. 550. Still 550. Oh, it actually takes my HP. <laughs> it doesn't just suck my HP, it actually takes it. Okay. That's interesting. Now, what if I do this in combination with... Something like this? Which reduces my HP. Oh my god, I have no HP. <laughs> because it would increase my casting speed, right? No, it increases spell uses. Let me go and see. Oh my god, I have 60 now. Two of those. 26 of those. How much HP do I have right now? I have 514 HP. Well. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know how much. Is this effect going to go away? Because, yeah, I lost a lot of HP from that. Okay, so what was I doing again? Um, right, I need to go over to Belfry Soul. I think that this effect should normally go away if I warp. That's usually how the buffs work. There we go. And then I have, yeah, I lose like 500 HP for... an increase in magic damage. Wait, I should also go and... get rid of this spell for the moment. As cool as it is... I, uh, I, I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get my soul spears. And then I can equip something else also. Hmm. 
<laughs> Chameleon? Let's see. I think maybe Crystal Magic Weapon. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Hey, buddy. Bravo, my friend. Look how they bled. Keep slicing and dicing till they're all little shreds. <laughs> Is that Sam Regal? <laughs> Is that voice actor Sam Regal? He kind of sounds like him. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> It's been an interesting experience, my friends, but uh, I would rather leave now. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. So, I want to go and take a look at what spells I am still missing. Because I haven't gotten my achievement for getting all the spells quite yet. It could also be that the uh, DLC spells are added amongst this right now. I have no idea. So, I have normal soul arrows. I have great. I have heavy soul arrow. Yep. I have great heavy. I have homing soul arrow. Heavy homing. I have homing soul mass, crystal, I like homing crystal soul mass, soul spear, crystal soul spear, shockwave, soul spear barrage, soul shower, soul great sword, soul vortex, soul bolt, soul geyser, magic weapon, great magic weapon. Ah, I see, so you can find one in the black gulch. One of these great magic weapon spells. Mmm, I remember now, I ran through that place, right? I didn't give a crap about anything over there. Well, great magic weapon was over there, but eh, whatever. Crystal magic weapon, strong magic shield, which I also have. You, yearn, hush, fall control. Hello, fall control. Do I not have fall control? Or is it hush that I don't have? No, I don't have fall control. Oh, okay. <laughs> Towards lower right, then we go then. Bork, bork. I am a dog, and I like to bork. Do what you want, because the dog is free. <laughs> you are a borker. Eat my magic weapon, bitch. It's one of the things that does the most amount of damage from my entire arsenal. Which is quite funny. Um, I would like to buy... Fell Control. Come back again, if you find another so. Another wonder so. Hello, you piece of shit. Ain't nobody got time for you, you annoying little bitch. Even though I shouldn't be this cocky, because this guy can do a lot of damage to me. Excuse me while I avoid that magic. Ah, crap. Of course. The little bitch got me in the back. Stabbed in the back by a jackass. I hate this guy's guts. Watch out that I don't accidentally hit uh, Orn effects because that would be painful in more ways than one. Okay, let me go and return to my last bonfire. As I get myself a human effigy. So, I fall control, I have hidden weapon, I have repair, cast light, chameleon, and unleash magic. So, yes, I still need to go and get the DLC uh, spells before I can get myself the. Uh, the thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hiccups, my favorite. Okay. That's fine by me. Um Hello. Now then. What am I going to upgrade? I guess more HP. HP is really important. <laughs> Who would have expected that HP is important to survive things? Not me. I do think I want to equip something else other than this though. Um, I guess Soul Geyser. Soul Geyser doesn't sound like a bad idea. I've also only just noticed how many times I could have made use of Fall Control. Oh well! <laughs> okay. Let's go over to... The Forest of Fallen Giants. Um, now I need to go and find all the giants that I can enter. 
I think I can find one over here. Yeah, there's one behind uh, the Pursuers boss battle. There's one down here somewhere. And then there's one at another place. Also, I've not gotten any of the DLC keys quite yet. That's another thing I need to go and do. <laughs> so many things to do! Who would have expected it? Right, excuse me for a moment. I love the way this character looks. Especially now that we have the witch's hat. It makes everything make a lot of sense. Hello? <laughs> All right. Memory of Amar. Oh, Amar. Yeah, that's this one. Let's go and back off. Because this guy's gonna freaking shoulder tackle through the wall. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. Uh, I love the fact that I can now just run past these things, that I don't need anything in these freaking memories anymore. Because by god, is it freaking annoying. <laughs> okay. Goodbye! Right. Now we can go here. Where there is... Another giant, because welcome to the giant memories. Everything in the giant. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't even remember what all the things are that you can get in these memories, but I also really don't care. Now, let me go back. I'm not in the mood for running back. Wait, what am I doing? I could have. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Actually, could have. I didn't need to do this. I could have just walked a little bit farther and then I would have been able to go over to the uh, the preserves place. Oh well. Right, so you know what? Now that I'm here, well... Nah, nah, I'll, I'll... You know what? Fuck it, I'll go and do this now. I'm gonna go and get the Iron Key. Because otherwise I won't be able to, you know, enter the Iron King DLC. Which seems like a, <clears throat> an issue. It's also kind of funny that my blade is clipping through my hat. It's kind of unfortunate though, but... Does it clip through the hat by, the, by doing this? No, but then it's then it clips through my freaking staff. So the clipping is unavoidable. <laughs> I didn't get the key right. Ha! <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve everything about that. So there's a key in the beginning of the Iron Keep that I consistently forget to grab. In a lot of my playthroughs. Listen to that a beautiful sound. It's almost as if somebody decided to use a freaking chainsaw, but no, it's just a stupid bike. Um, <laughs> my god. My apologies if you like bikes, but I don't. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. Right. I'm really happy that I got the, uh... That I got the achievement ring there. Makes it so I can use a lot more spells. It's just very difficult to make a spell build, I feel. To make a spell build, uh, a spell build, <laughs> a spell build that doesn't die in one shot, I find that to be quite a difficult thing to do. I guess it totally depends. If, if you only do spells where you just don't have a sword, <laughs> that way you can just ignore dexterity and strength, then I think you could probably make a pretty good magic build. But I really... I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> and also, that's not the way that I prepared all of this. I counted every single one of these weapons. Every weapon that scales with uh, intelligence and every... Uh, or at least, every weapon that prefers intelligence scaling over any other scaling. Right. What the hell? This freaking... A giant just fell out of the freaking sky on my head. Oh, watch out for them ballistas. Because that's gonna hurt if they hit me. Alright, sort of a giant. See ya. Sayonara. Right. 
Let's go back. Right. Now, before we continue with this, I do want to go and get uh, the iron key before I forget about it again. <laughs> because that would be quite a sh stupid move. <laughs> I wanted to say shitty move, but that's also true, but I would rather say stupid. Bloody stupid. Eat the moonbeam, which doesn't one shot you. Which is quite unfortunate, but not entirely unexpected. So will I get invaded by uh, somebody else around here? Oh, hello. Yep, Fencer Sharon is here. Ready to ruin my day. Well, I think it's gonna be the other way around that. Because you are now fighting a relatively strong fighter. Why are you walking towards me? Well, it seems like she has poise, because not wearing any armor means poise. I am getting shot. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Are you kidding me? That dude is freaking shooting me from the other side of the freaking planet. Wow, that did not what I wanted to do. Wow, Jesus. Just rolling through my attacks, huh? Apparently you have a lot of magic uh, defense. Really? You don't even use spells. Or maybe my Moonlight Greatsword is just really powerful <laughs> compared to, you know, all the rest of my entire arsenal. And that one dude's just walking back now. Dark Souls people, play it, it's fun. Trust me. Listen to my voice, it's fun. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it is fun in certain ways. It's also not fun in other ways. Just like any game, really, for me. For me personally, it's just like any game that I play. There's fun parts in games and there's not so fun parts in games. Games are not perfect. The same as my dog. My dog also isn't perfect. He keeps on barking and barking and barking for no reason whatsoever. Uh, Cardinal Tower fight. <laughs> oh yeah, right, because I need to go and get the key. <laughs> so, unless if I can unlock... Uh, unlock? Wow, geez. Unless if I can lock onto an enemy from really far away, Soul Geyser is not that useful. Soul Bolt. That is... Uh, doesn't do that much damage, but it could be good. Soul Vortex, however, is a pretty good one, I, se I seem to remember. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. It should suffice. I do absolutely adore the fact that my weapon, like that the moon, moon the moonlight great sword, jeez, that the moonlight great sword is this powerful is. Mm. It's everything I wanted and more. I love it so much. And just like in any Dark Souls game, the Moonlight Greatsword is just the king of the... The king of the freaking sorcery builds. It's insane. It's so ridiculously good. Right, so there's one to my left, yep. He's gonna hurt me! And then he go and jump, maybe? No? <laughs> nope, he's gonna headbutt me. After whipping me. Okay. Sure. Goodbye. There's another one back there. As I shoot it with my magic. That is a lot of damage. I think I just hit twice. I either hit twice or they have a... A wake point moment when they open up their mouth. So get the heavy iron uh, key, which is the one I needed. And there's also... <laughs> which I didn't particularly need it. No, like, which I didn't particularly need, but meh, whatever. Okay. Uh, now, I guess after I've done that, it's time to go over to... This one. The place, unbeknownst. So that we may kill the giant lord. Me lord. And then after killing the giant lord, we can go and deal with... Vendrick, Hollow Vendrick, and um, something else also. 
Hello, Vendrick, and uh, I also need to go and get the forgotten key. Not the forgotten key, but the other key. The, the key for the Second King DLC. The Dragon Town, right? Hello. Here comes the head. They see me rolling and killing. I'm pretty dang surprised that that did not hit me. Hello. How you doing? Let me go and see if I can... Because he hasn't attacked like that, but I kind of want to see if I can... Just attack him at range instead of... <laughs> nice sword attacks, bruh. Nice crotch, bruh. Fire my crystal souls! Or just my normal, actually. I haven't even touched my crystal. Actually, I don't even have my crystals equipped, money. What's bloody wrong with me? Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> Outstanding. Let me go and hit him with some great heavies. And roll. And kill! As I get hit by fire at the last second. At the last second. At the last second. Nice soup. Uh, this way. Soul of a giant. Oh, thank you. Hey, there's a crescent cycle, the weapon that uh, for which I need to go into New Game Plus 2. To get. Yay. Um. Yep, let's go and get the Dragon Talon, and then in the next episode we're gonna go and deal with Hollow Vendrick and... Uh... <laughs> Jesus, I'm blanking out. Hollow Vendrick, at least. And then I think also... The Dark Lurker, probably. <laughs> or at least we're gonna try. <laughs> well, I think the Dark Lurker should be fine, then. At least I think so. I could be wrong, and I could get... You know... Screwed in more ways than one. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, the longest ladder, which is, I think, this one. Yep. This is the one I need to go and take down. <laughs> Whee! Sliding around at the speed of sound. At least I wish it was as fast as the speed of sound. Please don't fall down. <laughs> Thank you. Because falling down would be a big old pain in my rear. <laughs> in my rear. In my back passage. Okay, we can get the Dragon Town over here. Over here. Going back to the old commentary where I said that constantly. We get another Soul Vortex. <laughs> Witch Tree Branch and Witch Tree Belvine, which are dark oriented things, kind of. And we get the Great Lightning Spear. <laughs> Outstanding spell. Just not very useful for me. Alright, my friends. Oh, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of I was playing Dark Souls 2 Scholar the first in a uh, sorcery build. And next episode, we're gonna go and deal with. Uh, yeah, with Hall of Hendrick and. Probably the Dark Lurker. I'm gonna at least try to do those in the same episode. So, yeah, goodbye.